Alright, what's up guys? We are back, right where we left off. My sword is damaged, I just now realized that. Alright. Uh, there's monsters in this here. Oh boy. Oh my god, that'd be prick. Come on. Harpy's got their nest here. Oh, I don't have to write uh for the sword name oh. That shouldn't be too hard. Alright, read the journal. Come on, keep moving. Oop, pass it. Hey, oh my god, why does it keep... Ah, uh, you guys know the drill. I'll pause here, when I unpause, I'll be there. Ugh. Alright, and we are here. Finally made it. Now put that on. Come on. Can't keep blocking me. Oh, you are dead, my good sir. Oops, didn't mean to pick that up. Do I have anything good? Oh, there's plus one damage to my broken sword, though. I'm just gonna drop those swords because I don't really care. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez! Oh, you're dead. You are dead. Oh! Night, night. There it is. Oh, thank God, it's freaking a fast travel point. Perfect. I'll just skip past the looting. Alright, we're here. Yay. I just kind of noticed after editing and all that that I say the word alright a lot. Sorry about that. It might be super annoying, but it's just the word I use. And... Oh, I gotta go all the way up there. Well, not gonna go without my horse. Wherever Roach is. There he is. How you doing, buddy? Do 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 do. Luckily, he's close by. Oh, pass him. Hey, I got your sword. What is it? I got your sword. Retrieve the property you lost. Could you? Thanks be to Freya. Where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there. Long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward. Sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kill you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. Jeez. Drama Queen. Say family blade. I need to repair my weapons. Is there um a blacksmith around? Uh, only one near is that guy. Alright, let's find a quest to do. Uh, 
on position. Is that close by? No. I'm trying to find something that's close because I don't want to do so much walking. Is that close by? Even worse. <laughs> Alright. I guess we'll do position. <laughs> Alright. I will pause here and I'll be right back. Alright, and we are here. God dang, I said alright again. Oh, okay. I'll just sit here and wait. A giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed, to my mind. It's about you defeating a snake, young. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dream. I don't need no more signs. Hello. Looking for Ceres. And she stayed here. On Craig's daughter. Hi, she was here. Where is she now? What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Um, wow, you are just so useful. Book of information. Now we're... I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? But... I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home. Though I tried to dissuade her. Did Rockvar have something to hide from the Ungrade? <laughs> <laughs> is a strange place. Man. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left. She had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help. With what? Whoa, what the heck? Forgive me. I must go to him. Promising start. What the heck happened to him? I want to check it out. What room did he go into? This one? Dang it, it's locked. Poop. Poop on a stick. Alright, just gonna skip the walking now. And we are here at the haunted house. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, I can feel it. I can hear it. Hello? Ooh, chest. Broken rake. Who keeps a broken rake in a chest? I hear something. But I don't like it. No. Oh, hey. Yeah, well, let's do it. Something's watching me. Always watching, waiting. Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Gee, you think? Why are you here? Can't Looking for you. For you. Crocs worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Please. Why'd you go in? Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Uderic. How? I'm sure he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? Yes. It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Uderic's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udalric. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother. Ak Ooh. Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Oof. The old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Something happened. I had a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. 
There was an accident. An accident. Yeah, the storm right. Broke out and Aki fell overboard. Uderic had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear or didn't want to hear. Some folk on the isle had the same doubt, but none would mention that out. You what think you did it? Did Uderic kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. All right. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? As long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Where'd you get that on you? Theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. I don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Like me. Those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. The it's gods? Not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. Okay. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. That something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. I'll, I'll get it. Question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here. We'll go together. You weak muff cabbage. God dang. Sometimes he does not want to walk the way I want him to. There's something on the ground. Found her over here. Maybe it's in this chest. Rusty bed knife. If I doubt that's a sword I'm looking for. Um, how about in here? Water. Water's always good. Yep, here it is. Um, click. Oh. Um, maybe I can go upstairs. Maybe. Gotta find a key. A key in here. There's a candle. Candles are good for light. Fun fact. Um, I don't know where it wants me to go. I know there was like an opening in one of these rooms. Maybe I can jump down. Or maybe I have to go outside. Yeah, here it was. Nope, I can't crawl through there, I guess. Oh, wait, there's something here. There's a key. So now I use this key, and then I open this, and then I go downstairs, and I find a sword. Okay, open. Thank you. Whee! Okay, I really do not like that noise. It's creepy. Here, let me light some candles. What the heck is that moving on the floor? Is that water? Something evil. Ignite! Ignite! Here we go. What is this about? Alright, got the sword. Let's get out of here, please. You know, for a haunted house, I thought there'd be like a ghost or something trying to stop me from getting the sword, but I guess not. So, did you find the sword? No, I just came back empty-handed. I found it. Let's go. After you then. After you then. Oh, you Here say you after are. you, but I gotta follow you. Mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something. Or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. 
In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. All right, hurry up, lady. Where are we going? Over here. Keep walking. Oh, we're going back to the house that we were at before. What the heck? What was that? She let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Mm, I don't think she really cares. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain. His suffering. A pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. This is about your brother. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Don't be afraid. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher, Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. Yeah, dude. What the heck? Is that your baby? What I didn't even notice that. Me do. Remember where Aki fell in the water? I. Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current that swept us towards Olyla's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. Yes, yes, God, yes. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear I don't not, care. Carol. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Alright, I'm off. Um, pause and I'll be there. Woo! Alright, and we are here. God dang it, I said alright again. Yeah. I had a place near his bones? Dive! What the hell are you doing? I hate the controls in this game sometimes. Like, it's so clunky and unfluid. Or maybe too fluid, because it's hard to stop. I feel like his bones would be down here. Float down! I can't find him. I'm literally the worst person. Oh, never mind. I was about to say I'm the worst person to find things on the water like in Dying Light. It took me like an hour to find one thing that was just like floating right near a rock. Oh, I gotta go up. I gotta go up. Go, 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 go! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Oh, there's a drone in the water with me. That's creepy. 
Get out the water, there's a shark! Alright, and I will be right there. I just gotta kill all these guys first. Alright, and I'm back. I just heard a loud scream on my way here from the dude, so... I hope everything went okay. Because I almost died fighting those people. Darkness. What is this? Rudlak? The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. Jesus. Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Oh, well, it doesn't look that bad. What did the gods want exactly? Do you remember? They were angry. A voice said, You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did it talk when to you? Did the gods speak to you right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches. Then speak from the shadows. Have you ever seen them? The gods ever show you their form? Or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. Alright. Do they always demand an offer? The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. Alright. You don't like speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. But you're a Jarl, so you're worthy. What the heck? I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Hmm. Oh, God. Well, know what it is? He's possessed. It's a hive. Post conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate, mutilate themselves. themselves. That's awful. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work, in theory. This is the Witcher's way. Witcher's beast juries say you have to spend a night in the Himes' lair. With the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the high mount. It has to emerge from the shadows and show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? The other way is to eat a dick. Trick. It's been tricked. It'll be forced to leave. Right. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick them in. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelrick might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. 
And what about the other method? Um, you know what? We're just gonna end it here, and we'll pick up right where we left off because I don't want this episode being super long. But as always, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed this episode. And please stick with me as I continue my adventure.